Hey guys, it's Mitchie and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys along um, because I am preparing to go back to work tomorrow. So we um, have my appointment today. Technically I'm eight weeks postpartum tomorrow, but it's my six week postpartum appointment. Um, I called about the appointment a little late and uh, she wasn't able to get me in until, well, today. So. So it is currently 7.15 in the morning. I just finished pumping. Um, I got two and a half ounces. So it's decent. That was after like four and a half hours. So Chris is currently making breakfast and the baby is kind of just chilling, napping off and on in the bed. I need to start getting ready to head out this morning and eat breakfast so yeah ready, get diaper bag ready, pretty much ready, maybe just need to add more diapers, okay, there's still nine in there, I like to keep a dozen, we're gonna be somewhere for a few hours, so, three more, these changing Diaper rash cream. Um, we have a blankets, bouncer.
Okay, so just a quick update um, since I'm waiting for the car to warm up. Um, I just got out of my appointment. Um, everything seems to be all good. Um, there's a couple things they're still checking on and I may have to, excuse me, go back for some other stuff later, but um, pretty much I'm all good though for my six week appointment. Um, I have my note to return to work. So I am officially going back to work tomorrow. I'm not excited and I'm not happy about it. However, I am happy to at least be making money again since I waited two months for this insurance company to tell me that they are denying me my insurance claim for some sort of pre-existing condition. I have no idea what that even means because I was pregnant. I'm not sure why I would get denied for insurance. I don't know how that stuff works. My only conclusion is that I wasn't working for my new job long enough to qualify for the insurance claim. But I'm not sure why they're listening as a pre-existing condition. That doesn't even make sense. But if someone knows what the fuck any of this means, please explain it to me because I am so lost and so peeved because I literally waited two months for them to deny me. So, and now Chris is having to get a check advance from his job so that we can pay our rent so that we don't get evicted. Merry freaking Christmas. On top of the other thing I forgot to mention earlier was that we both forgot the baby's milk at home. I had to drive all the way back home to get it in a snowstorm. Poor baby, poor, poor baby. But we got her her milk and she was fine. It's, it's been a day, guys. It's, it's been a day. <sighs> 